Hey all you people. Hey all you people. Hey all you people, won't you listen to me? We are in Gen's tower. Not any kind of tower. A tower full of horrible misery. Okay, no, I'll stop. Uh, so yeah, I am Mega Man 400. If you didn't know that, how? Um, and I am uh, doing, or I'm going, to, we're nearing the end actually of this game, uh, Link to the Past. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, of course. So, so, yeah, the game lag, that was, that's pretty epic. <laughs> the game is lagging because of, um, there being a lot on the screen, so the arrow slowly attacked. That's, that was pretty cool. That the arrow slowly went and killed that little, uh, mouse thing. But they kind of look like mouses. Like, they're not really mouses, but... So anyway, we are, we are now in the top of, or heading up the top of the tower now that we have all of the items, uh in the dungeon that we need to get, and this climb can be annoying, but again, it's it's not that bad. It's more, this is just a long dungeon, it's not really that it's a hard, difficult, destruct, um, uh, really, you know, horrible, horrible dungeon. Uh, and honestly, there's really no need to do this, I was doing this just for the sake of, uh, or I'm doing this just for the sake of, uh, pushing it, uh, Really, there's no really reason to push this thing over here. I just I wanted to use it to make uh, to <laughs> slow mo arrow uh, to make it easier to kill those guys. But you can't even push it down anyway, so there's really no point for the statue to be there if you can't even push it down. It's more or less to distract you. Um. But yeah, uh, this yeah they threw a lot. I don't know why they're throwing a lot of these little mouse thingy these guys at us because they're really not that difficult to kill. They're really easy to kill. I mean, I guess the fact that they follow your pattern, but even then, though, that's not that horrible. I love the I love the Ganon statues. Those just those little Ganon statues look so cute and awesome. Um, I, I want a Ganon statue in my room. I it, I really you know, that'd be the best thing ever to have would be a little cute Ganon statue. Um, but yeah, this is nearing the end of uh um the end of this game actually. It's been quite uh, fun. It's been fun. It's been fun to uh, play this game. It, again, I've said it's one of my favorite Zelda games, and, you know, yeah, there are definitely better Zelda games, uh, but, or, well, I know for a while this has been, was my absolute favorite game, because it just had a lot of nostalgia for it. It was a game I played when I was young, like, of the SNES games I owned, this, and then the Donkey Kong Country games. Prefer, pr particularly 2 and 3 were the games I played the most. So for me, A Link to the Past has always held a special place in my heart. Um, but when I look at um, you know, some of the more the games that have come out since then, you know, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, the Oracle games, which I feel are highly overrated, I've, I've loved those as well. Um, actually, Spirit Track is on my top 5. But yeah, this game is still on my... It's still my top 5, personally. But... Um, I will say there are games I've enjoyed more. Better, I don't know, the gameplay is just, and I don't know how to get down there. I, I There's probably an invisible platform somewhere, I'm not really, I don't feel like uh, trying to figure that out. But yeah, the gameplay is just pretty solid, there's not really anything wrong with it. Um, you know, it's, I mean, my thing is if you like uh, the original Zelda, you'll like this, unless you really like, unless you really, really like the cryptic stuff in the original Zelda, because this game is just basically more of a refined version of the original Zelda, uh, to an extent. You know, I, I, at least personally, I, I don't really see anything, you know, wrong with the game. I feel like there's, again, like, I feel like Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, they took standard gameplay that, not necessarily that this game, but like Ocarina of Time had, and they... Um, approved upon what you know, what it what they approved their gameplay and the story added to the experience. Here it's just solid gameplay. Um, a more in-depth story. Like the Oracle games. If you're if I want to go with my favorite 2D uh, Zelda game, probably the Oracle games. And I do a combine because you really need to play both to get the full experience. But either one, technically, uh, I really can't say enough good things about the Oracle games. Uh, if you haven't played the Oracle, of Se Oracle Seasons and Oracle of Ages, I highly recommend you uh, find some way, sell off your life savings to get them, or emulate them if you really want to, but I recommend playing those two games. Um, Spirit Tracks also I really like as well, like, 
the music was great. I like the story characters. I'd honestly say probably the Oracle games are better, but you know, yeah, I'd probably have to say the Oracle games are better. And hello, was it Moldrum? No, not Moldrum. They're um. Oh crap! What's the name of these guys? It's not Twin Mold. Twin Trip 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 Mold. Um. Ah, oh, damn it! I, I don't know why I can't remember these guys' name, and I know I'm gonna get people telling me that oh, they're this. No, no you know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna call them by their official name. They are the Three Stooges. And that's their official name now because I have the power to do so. Uh, because I can at least pretend that I have the power to do so. But either way, um, but yeah, I'd say this is probably my third or second favorite 2D uh, Zelda game. Because, you know, the Spirit Tracks and also Oracle did more with what, you know, this game had. But, you know, it's similar to Ocarina of Time in a, in a sense. Ocarina of Time, again, I uh, set the standard for gameplay. Uh, which was great, and then other games improved upon it. Um, in this game, this set a really standard. Uh, well, technically, Zelda set the standard for game, uh, the original ones at the standard for the gameplay in terms of how the gameplay works. But um, this game improved upon it, and uh, the other games after it have also improved upon it even more so. So in that sense, uh, it's one it's it's one of my favorites. But there are definitely games that are better than it. I would say. Um, even so, though, it's a pretty damn solid game, I, at least for me. I, li I li really like this game. And we are nearing the top. I think we are near it. No, actually, I think we, st no, we still have quite a way because we still have another um, boss to face. Because spoilers, we're going to fight the three. Fight. Fight is not a word. Uh, fight the three mini boss or mini bosses. Bosses from um, uh, the Light World Dungeons. Actually, technically, the four bosses in the Light World Dungeons, as you'll see pretty soon, but that is a spoiler that I will not spoil, because spoilers are spoil spoilful. Spoilful is not a word, though, but however, or however, anyway, um, yeah, so this game is, is pretty awesome, in my opinion. And if you have the Virtual Console, you can get on the Virtual Console, you can also get the four, uh, the game for the Game Boy Advance, uh, which also includes... Uh, a Four Swords dungeon. It's like an extra dungeon if you play. I think you get to play the beat the game uh, with the Four Sword mode, and then you can, um, and then you can uh, unlock that dungeon and link to the pass. Um, but I will say with that, uh, with that version, you have Link screaming every time he moves. You know, like he does in Ocarina of Time, but he does it with a sprite, and it's man, I, I'd almost just play the original personally, unless you really want to play that one dungeon. Which if you want to play that one dungeon, then go ahead. Because uh, other than that, the, the remake is not much different than this game. But, you know, you can get on the Virtual Console for $8. Uh, or if you really want to, just emulate it. But, or, you know, there's the... No, it's not on the Master Collection. I always think that it's on the Master Collection, and it's not. Because at the time when this game was made, actually, uh, Nintendo made the statement of, you can now play every Zelda on the GameCube. And you could have, because you had the Master Collection, which had uh, Zelda, Zelda 1, Zelda 2, or Zelda... Zelda Zelda 1, those are the same things. Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. You could put this game in the Game Boy Player uh, with this game in any of the Game Boy games uh, in the Game Boy Player. So you had all the Game Boy games you could put in the Game Boy Player and play those on the GameCube. And this game was also available on the Game Boy Advance, so yeah, that was all the Zelda games uh, could be played, except for the CDIs, but those aren't Zelda games. They are mockeries of humanity. Um, but, uh,. Yeah, you had, um, because the Oracle, because you could play Game Boy Colors, Game Boy games on, um, the Game Boy Player. Technically, technically, uh, if you count the BS Zelda and, uh, Game & Watch games, technically not every Zelda. And the BS Zeldas, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, you should look it up. They're basically, uh, broadcast sound, tele, I think it's, uh, I don't know, television or something, broadcast television or something, but it was a peripheral f of sorts for uh, the Super Famicom, um, and basically it received broadcast, radio broadcast of games, and the BS uh, Zelda were some of them. Basically, a lot of them were just re uh, remakes, like it had a really enhanced remake of the original Zelda games with two different maps, and then you had just the reg regular just Zelda, uh, Link to the Past, just broadcasted, and then you also had... Um, uh, basically, a sequel to this game that is pretty, you know, more original. It's 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 the same kind of setup, but it's, it has um, uh, 
you play as a human character that has been thrown into a high roll, and they get uh, there's a few new items, and uh, the setup is different. I, I can go on hours like, explaining PS Zelda, um, and you can only play via emulation at the moment because when the game was uh, broadcasted, it was only broadcasted for you could only play it during the time it was broadcasted. You couldn't like save it. You had to just like you know the broadcast system was kind of like downloadable content for some of the games, but like this game in particular, if it's broadcast at this time, you play it during that time, and then you left. Uh, and it also had, you know, live uh, narration that was done. Uh, not live performance narration, and it also had, um... Uh... Yeah, two hits to kill him. Um, also had bro uh, broadcasted orchestrated music as well. But, uh... Yeah, I'd recommend checking out the what the, the BS Zelda is all about. Um, pretty pretty cool games that I wish I wish they would release them on the virtual console uh, if they can I mean if, if someone can emulate it then yeah I'm sure they that Nintendo could release them on the virtual console um, of course they're probably not gonna have the same uh, standard you know the same charm that they originally had because they're not gonna have the live voice acting and here we are guys and gals and dogs if you're watching this it's the boss room ho ho it's great that you could make it all the way here mega I'm very happy to see you again, but you better believe me that we will not have a third meeting. Prepare to meet your doom! So here we have Agarang, Bang, 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 Banana Split. Uh, he is actually easier here, to be honest, because he has these three clones. And that can cause you quite a bit of damage. You know, they can be annoying, right? But at the same time, they all throw balls at you. So, and the clones always throw uh, the ones that you can hit him with, right? The ones you can reflect. So... Uh, it's quite easy to hit him because you'll always have something to hit him with. And not only that, though, you can say, well, the sword's kind of hard to deflect with uh, those guys. Well, there is another way to deflect uh, things. The bug catching net. You can use the bug catching net to kill him. Um, which is similar to, you know, how in Ocarina of Time you can use the bottle to kill Gandorf. But the bug catching net is actually more useful because it's actually honestly better to use than the sword because uh, it has better trajectory. Trajectory. Yeah, I can. I cannot pronounce things. But um, and sometimes you can, you know, get some good shots into him uh, because of the bug catching net. Also the sword, of course. But I think the bug catching net actually works better here, personally. Uh, hence why I'm using it. Um, but yeah, this is the final battle with this wizard of sorts. How did? I guess he got in the dark world when he opened the portal. He also got into the dark world as well. And you know, Ganon's been using him, so you know. If G Ganon wields it, he can do whatever he wants. Do, do, do. Yeah, see, like right there, that's an example of hitting, him, getting a good shot in him because the reflecting it off of him. Um, but that was more or less just the placement that he was placed. And I like the, I, I like the, um, uh, the area. Like in the first one, you had the blue, and that actually seemed out of place. But the black here, even though they're like, I would like to have like walls on the, like a roof, it actually works here. Oh, and he's dead. Lovely doesn't even have any other lines, he just dies. He actually dies. And as you saw, that's Ganon. Well, we're going after him. And now we are going to break Ganon of the game and use the flute, which we could not use in the Dark World before, to summon the bird, who could not be in the Dark World before, to go chase for Ganon. How that works, I don't know. But next time, we will be facing Ganon, the King of Evil. I am Maker 400, and I am reminding you, Ganon is the King of Evil. And Pudding.